prepare properly. One chance. Don't rush in. Just divert her until the last second. J yeah, I, I know. Save before. Oh uh, well, we can do this. Uzume, leave it to me. I was able to make it this far because of you two. I've been lonely for a long time. To be honest, I'd started realizing that it was impossible for me to defeat this thing by myself. But now, I can stand here in front of her with confidence because you are with me. So, lend me your strength one last time. Yo, giant! I've been waiting for this. Hmm. What's happening? It was working for a second, wasn't it? That hag. Did she cancel it out somehow? Canceled it out? What do you mean by that? <laughs> that voice. R4? We meet again, brats. Do not prepare any countermeasures. Countermeasures? But it can't... It's impossible to cancel out share energy. Oh, but it is. I stole that otherworldly CPU's power from Krar. And now you will be crushed by its might! Your fate is already decided. Your resistance is futile. <laughs> well, shit. Give up, Uzume. What? Umio? Sorry to keep you waiting. My preparations took longer than expected. What are you? This light and this power. This is. It's share energy. But how? How are there so many shares? It was good I hedged our bets, just in case. Hmm. But, but Umio, why did you come here? Well, Don't be afraid. I did not come alone. All the monsters who follow you are here as well. Each one wields a share crystal. Everyone, you didn't evacuate. I apologize for keeping this from you. Searching for these crystals took quite a bit of time. I know these lights are a good thing, but I can't stop thinking about a massive glob of baby bugs and doggoos, and it's almost kind of gross. These lights will not save you. they will. If you believe you can cancel out our belief in Uzume, go ahead. Try. <laughs> there are powers at work here you could not understand. The shares feel so warm. Ooh. You can't, Umio. Excuse me, don't give up. Please, use my shares. We're sorry that you had to go through all this pain just for us. Even if I can't fight with you, I can at least give you my shares. You can do it, Miss Uzume. 
This is a fried shrimp and the others are flowing into my head. No, I can feel their voices speaking to my heart. I think the thoughts of your friends are flowing into you along with their share energy. <laughs> Everyone. Kuzume, I apologize for allowing you to fight alone. But now, we stand with you. Ponyo. Sharing field, activate! Here we go. I will negate your shares as many times as needed. Share energy suitably. Yes, I understand. Next year, I will now send you power. <laughs> this nostalgic feeling of warmth. This is definitely the share energy from my world. If I resonate this with Uzumi's share energy, then. Both of you! Oh boy, he just saying. Curse you! Curse you, CPUs! But I will not fall to this! Too bad for you, Arbor. But this share energy isn't the only gift we have for ya. Huh? Here I come to save the day! The protagonist is absolutely essential what? for the final boss her? fight, after all. Neptune! Ooh, it's the other me! She's so tiny! Nepsy, you're here! It is <laughs> truly an all-out war. Romeo, Baby Fox, everyone, thank you! A special thanks to you two, Nepsy, Gearsy, and Big Nepsy! Let's all go win the final battle! Next team has joined the party. Next has won net net combination. Ooh, more skill. But what is this quad burst? Hold back! FBBL! 
My turn. I'll get victory on this one blow. You're finished. Ta-da! Uzumi's turn. All right, let's try this. will tear you apart. You're finished. Finally. Raging Rush. Ah! Yeah! Spiral Dream. Here I go. Oops, you that attack. Figure out later on. My critical edge will tear you apart. You're finished. All right, into the specimen book. This is the essence of dual wielding. Yeah. And the game all. Maybe I should. 
I think I saw this level up in a dream. Level up. Why? Why can I not win? Look, our board's falling apart. Are victorious. We did it! We did it, Umio! This time we really, really won! I'm really surprised, Neptune. I didn't think you'd come back to this world, especially at the very last second. Thanks to an update patch we installed on Isti, she was able to create a gate between dimensions. Pretty high requirements, though. But anyway, I'm just glad Isti updated and rebooted before the final battle started. Vintage now. Wowie, wow! My small self is so cute! And you're the adult me! I see. So this is what the big me looks like. I'm kind of relieved that when I get older, I'm gonna look a little more... developed. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I seriously doubt that. It's pretty wild to see both versions of Nepsi just standing there like that. Totally. When I look a little closer, it's a little difficult to tell them apart. What name should I use to differentiate? Let's figure it out later. This mini dimension's about to vanish, so we gotta get back to... Yeah! Wait, Uzume! Stop, stop! Huh? What's up? If this place disappears, Neptune and I won't be able to get back to our world. What do you mean, Neptune? Well, it took a ton of shares to open this gate, and keeping it open is probably depleting them pretty fast. Um, are Planetune's shares going to be all right? Should I be worried? Hey, my little sis and my pals were in need. I couldn't just hold back and stay there. We can just recollect the shares we lost. I understand. As this dimension was constructed from that share energy, once it disappears, the gate will disappear with it as well. That's the gist of it. So unfortunately, we can't really stay in chit-chat. I see. I'd hoped we could spend a little more time together, but I suppose farewells don't always go as planned. Oh. Hey now, don't make that face. People come and people go. That's just life, Gearsy. Besides, it's a fluke you're here at all. You were supposed to go home a while ago. But even before that, we spent a lot of time together. I had my fair share of fun. And we're both CPUs. It ain't a final goodbye. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere, somehow. You're right, Izume. Let's meet again someday. It's a promise. I will now open the gate. We can finally leave this dumpy dimension. Whoa, what is this? A, a butterfly? Wait, that voice. Is that... Krar? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry this form startled you. I just love looking like this ever so much. Well, you did cause all this ruckus, so, uh, you kind of made your own bed there. Did you at least learn your lesson? <laughs> what the heck, my lesson? All I wanted to do was record some interesting history. Yep, no remorse. Looks like you might need some disciplining. Like hell I'm gonna get disciplined by the likes of you. Later. Hey! Man, she's fast. Wait up, Krosty! Don't leave me behind! They came and left like a storm, didn't they? Oh, that's right, Gearsy. 
is it really okay for me to have this? Of course it is. That was yours originally, so please, hold on to it. Sure thing. I'll keep it safe. Oh, right. I kind of gave up on it. But next time we meet, I'll definitely cure your dislike for shiitakes. I guess I'll have to be careful not to eat them until I see you again. I wouldn't want to accidentally start liking them or something. <laughs> we'll be going now, Uzume. It really is goodbye this time, huh? Yeah. See ya, Nepsi. Bye, Gearzy. Bye for now. Let's meet again. Looks like they've truly gone this time. Looks like it. Goodness. You always push yourself. It couldn't be helped this time, though. Even all that share energy we gathered wasn't enough to defeat that stupid giant. True. However, I didn't think you would use the share energy stored inside of you. <sighs> yeah, I can't even lift a finger right now. <sighs> Here we are again. I've already made my promise. I think I've got my work cut out for me. It's going to get very busy, but at least in a more pleasant, less threatening way. Yeah. I want to build a beautiful, strong nation that can rival Nepsis. Hey, Umio. Will you help me again? The question is unnecessary. If you so desired, I would follow you to the end of the world. Our dreams are one and the same, Uzume. Then it'll be great working with you again, Umio. <laughs> yes. Let us work our hardest together. All right, then. Where should we start? Hyperdimension Neptunia G! Oh, you... Title screen or something? Can we save? Yes, we can! since Neptune and I returned from the Zero Dimension. When we got back, we threw a small tea party to apologize to everyone for worrying them, but also to thank them for helping us. However, game industry was still in the middle of the CPU shift period, so we were worried everyone would be too busy to accept our invitation. 
But day by day, the baseless slander and terrible rumors against Neptune and the others have piled up. It seems they all had way more stress piled up than I thought. Ah! Who's the jerk that posted on the image board saying I'm a lonely protector without any friends? It's spreading everywhere! Huh? I'm having similar issues. There are claims that I've been excessively purchasing expensive teas from multiple shops, but I've been home all day. Same. There are tons of Amazoo product reviews written in my name for some reason. They're all pretty negative. Weird ones, too. Some products have gotten 100 low ratings in just two weeks. And these people are misspelling words in the reviews just to piss me off. <laughs> they seriously got issues. For some reason, people are being led to believe it's from my supposed secret account. Well, get this. They're all posting that I push all my work on Neptunia and Isti, and all I do is goof off. <laughs> How rude. Is she joking? Huh? <laughs> like a... Like a verb. Everyone wanted to voice their complaints, so they made time to come to our party. So, it's the same for everyone, huh? What terrible times we're living in. This is an awful mess. Thanks to this, I can't go on without eating my feelings via delicious sweets. I'll end up putting on more mass at this rate. You mean her chest is going to get larger? <laughs> there are some real meanies out there! How can they write all these lies with a straight face on? <laughs> I feel so bad for Blonde. I can think of two reasons. One is that this is the work of pranksters. The other is that this is an elaborate scheme set for our ruin. If it is the latter, it could be assumed that it's the work of hostile nations. But that almost seems inconceivable. All of our sisters are great friends. Indeed. That is why I hope the four of us can endure these troubling times. Hey, Neptune! Didn't you say you had something important to tell us at this tea party? Yeah, now that I remember, you did mention that. I was too busy complaining, so I forgot. Yep, that I do. It completely slipped my mind, too. You see, I was thinking since times are tough, we should get through this as one big team instead of dealing with it individually. A surprisingly good idea coming from you, Neptune. I was starting to feel like I was at my limits working alone. Oh, I know. They say three heads are better than one, so we should be helping each other. Helping each other out, huh? I do think it's a good idea, but it'll probably be spun in a way that'll just fan the flames. I can see the criticisms in tomorrow's headlines. The new world order has begun. Or, meet the CPUs who can't do anything on their own. You want order? I... I think you might be thinking a little too pessimistically. You'd understand if you'd been hounded by criticisms for this long. Imagine if every one of your good intentions were skewed by the public so fault was found in them. You'd get pretty pessimistic too. But I think it's worth trying. Since this is Neptune we're talking about, I'm sure she has an amazing idea. I think your expectations are too high, but what do you think, Neptune? Well, I think it'd be awesome if all our nations got together and threw a giant festival. A festival? Our nations already have those every year. You're thinking too small, Noir. I want to set up a multi-nation festival, a festival to celebrate all of game industry. And we can use up everyone's national budgets to throw the biggest party ever! I think that's going a little too far. That's a great idea. Uh, no, that's a good idea. What? <laughs> Hear me out. I'm ignoring the part about blowing the budget, of course. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm in agreement with Neptune's proposal. We've been working separately until now. 
But we can turn the tide with a move like this. You're right. We might just get the chance to weed out whoever's been distributing strange information, too. Distributing strange information? I'm not certain, but I think someone has been spreading rumors and lies about us to cast the people into a state of mistrust and unease. This is merely conjecture, but the scope of this work suggests the effort of a group. Otherwise, this amount of information control is impossible. I guess while I was in the other world, you all have been investigating this quite a bit. Well, aside from the fact that Neptune is as dense as usual when it comes to something important, let's try throwing this game industry appreciation festival. Then let's all make the festival a huge success. Yeah! Cool festival. Golden leaders, reconstructors of game industry. Interesting. The months that followed that tea party passed by quickly, and the game industry appreciation festival was successfully executed. Before the festival, the rumors and accusations about the CPUs had both increased and worsened. But ever since the festival began, those lies quickly disappeared. Perhaps everyone was enjoying the festival too much to care anymore. In fact, it looked like all the shares lost by the CPUs were being restored. I'm relieved the festival opened without a hitch. Me too. I thought there would be a lot of backlash, but people from all the nations happily worked together, which helped a lot. That definitely surprised me. It'd be sweet if everyone's faith in our sisters was restored after this, even just a little bit. Everyone seems to be enjoying the festival, so I'm sure that'll happen. I hope so. Neptune, Yuni, we found you! Found you? Look at this! I got some crepes from that old man at the stall! Wow, those look delicious! Would you let me have a bite? Ta-da! We brought some for both of you! He gave it to us as a thanks for a fun festival! That's See, Yuni? Nice. It's just like I said. You're right. Maybe I was just being cynical. Hey, isn't it almost time? Time? You know, for the Grand Prix Finals! Our sisters are fighting, so we gotta go cheer them on! Ram, wait for me! Hey, don't leave us behind! Wh Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And so... As if we were ignoring our needless fears, the hugely successful festival approached its final day. That was also the day when the centerpiece of the festival, the finals league of the G1 Grand Prix would begin. That's where fierce battles between warriors from all over game industry were waged. Oh, by the way, it was a little disappointing, but I lost to Vert in the final qualifying round. At least I made fifth place though. I would personally like Neptune to win, but please, everyone, do your best! So it's come down to us four after all. Deja vu all over again. This is perfect! Let's use this as a chance to see which one of us is the strongest goddess! Splendid! This is the perfect opportunity for me to show off my strength before all the nations. Goodness, you all get so overly confident when you're in your HDD forms. Well, what do you say, Neptune? I don't mind. If I'm victorious here, it will mean that Planetune's future will be bright and my place secured. It's decided that what was time to form one-on-one -on -one matches. Let's end this with a four-woman melee. Hey, 
Hold off on that match for a second. What the? Who is that? Show yourself immediately. What? You say you don't know who we are, huh? Well, let me enlighten you. We are those who reign from the four golden summits. We will call ourselves the Gold Third. Gold Third? I don't really get how that makes sense if there are four of you. But step aside. Get out of the way of our final match. So rude. Can't you see we're livening up this boring party? Normally for this kind of service, I'd charge you guys more than you could afford. Is money your objective? Even if you were to extort us, we are not about to hand over control of game industry. Control of game industry? Not interested. Then what the hell is it? Are you little doggies gonna bark all day, or are you gonna freaking fight? <laughs> That's right. I've always wanted to try my hand against a CPU. How interesting. Do you all believe you can win against us? It isn't a question. It'll simply be done. You have a strong resolve. Very well. We will be your opponents. A new challenger has set. Myself. Now, what shall I do? Lazy dance! I see it! That didn't work! Did you do something? Zero My damage? Turn. What's going on? There's no room! That yeah. doesn't work! Okay, are you ready? Don't do that. What the fuck? Shut up! 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 Shut I'm being pushed back! What's going it's on? Over. I will never be in that. Kill her soft! Be held by my arms and die. Not bad! I have no interest in weaklings. Oh, come on. This can't be. We're going to lose? Oh, no game over? This isn't possible. I didn't think we would huh? win. But of course we would. We're strong after all. Just when we had gotten everyone excited. It ends like this at the last moment. This will be a freaking mess to clean up. The time has come. I've been waiting for this moment. Huh? This world and its CPUs can no longer fight against these negative emotions. Wait! That's... You can't! Anything but that! Now... Let us begin the reorganization of this world. This... game industry. The world has been rewritten. Now, General Afimojas, what do you desire of this newly reorganized world? Well, I will require as it much happen. as I can possess. Money, is it? It seems the greedy exist in any era. 
Are you planning on starting a war? War? Conflict that relies solely on arms is conflict of the days of old. In this century, information wars reign supreme. Not only this, but information exists as both weapons and wealth simultaneously. This is the very reason my secret association, Athmax, exists. What is Athmax? I see. You're more of an intellectual than your appearance suggests. But it wouldn't be good of you to forget our promise, now would it? Do not fear. I have not forgotten. I have already prepared the acquisition at your request. My subordinate is on the move. Ah, yes. Your subordinate. Steamax, was it? When will you introduce me? He obeys me and follows only my commands. I have no intention of him making your acquaintance. How cold. And here I've lent you the few friends I have. But it's fine. Just obtain the item. I've waited so many years. Do not make me wait any longer. Huh? Guys, where are we? I'm pretty sure we were somewhere else. Wait, where's everyone else? Am I alone? Hey, Noir! Blonde! Red! No one's around. Noir and Nepgear and the others are gone. What in the heck happened? I have no idea, Nep. If I recall, we lost to some weirdos called Gold Third. Then we suddenly were engulfed in light. And the woman who showed up in the arena at the end, wasn't that the older me? I swear she was yelling something important. She looked kind of desperate, too. This sound. Could it be? Hello? Neptune? You're safe! Yep, I'm still kicking. What about you, Noir? Hey, by the way, where are you right now? I have no idea, but I think I'm somewhere in La Station. I can see some familiar scenery in the distance. I believe I'm somewhere in Lean Box as well. Same here. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at Louis. Bert! Juan! I'm so glad you two are okay! Likewise, Neptune. But what in the world happened? I remember making a few mistakes in battle and losing to Gold Third. So stupid. But when I came to, I was just here. Looks like everyone's in a similar situation. I feel there's something going on that's way bigger than we could have imagined. Are you talking about those towers? Exactly! Those massive towers definitely weren't there before. Towers? towers? There aren't any! Wait! There they are! Towers! What are those giant things? And there are four of them! Well, my guess is that those towers might have had something to do with this. I can't really think of a sane reason why we'd all end up where we are right now. It would be best to return to our nation. Thankfully, we can still communicate, so we should gather your younger sisters. Right. We're clueless. They'll be a big help. All right. Then once we reach our respective basilicoms, we will make contact again. Got it! Now that I know everyone's safe, I guess I'll try walking towards Planetune. I have absolutely no idea where I am, though, so I have no idea where to go. Oh, well. I get the feeling that some people are over that way. I'll go check it out! And so, the four CPU sought out their own nations, anxiously pondering the four strange towers now looming over game industry. This was the beginning of their story. Huh? Safe progress? What's going on? What just happened? What are those towers? What is this? <laughs> what even is this? Please select the character to choose their scenario? Huh?
Okay. Let's see, we got two. Hey, it's time to start my story! This game's protagonist has to be me, after all. Exactly, Nep. Woo! I'm finally here! Seriously, though, this tower is super gilded. And now that I'm getting a good look at it from down here, this thing is gigantic! I know! If it's this huge, I bet the view from up top is amazing! If I just shimmy up this thing, I'm sure I'll know where I am. I'm so smart. All right! Open sesame! Hey, wait just a sec. It won't open, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ooh, I get it. The joke's that it was a sliding door this whole time, right? Guess not. If I transformed, I could fly all the way up. But I can't seem to do that. It might be because of the damage from the brawl with the gold third. I'm not giving up just because I can't transform. If I can't climb from the inside, then I just gotta scale the outside. Tower climbing, here I go! So, this is the Golden Summit. As a tower enthusiast, I'd love to go in, but work comes first. It seems worth trying to hey, climb it, though. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll come back if I get some vacation time. Ah! Hmm? What is that? Someone's voice? But from where? I'm falling! Move, 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 move! Wait, from above? I said move! Why is that kid falling from the sky? Uh-huh. Kid? I can say the same thing about you, Squirt. Who are you, anyway? The name's Aya. I'm a gust of wind blowing through... Wait, it's Iffy! To think I'd reunite with you like this, Iffy. It reminds me of the first time we met. If I remember, I accidentally slipped off the top floor of the true Neptral Tower and landed right in front of you. Um, who the heck are you? And how do you know my nickname? Oh, come on. Don't you think that's pretty cold, even coming from you, Iffy? I didn't mean to disappear from the arena so suddenly, so I don't think it's right of you to get angry over it. What in the world are you saying? Did you hit your head when you fell? Do you have a concussion right now? Because if you do, I'm gonna need to call an ambulance to take you to a hospital. Not cool, Iffy. Even I could get angry if you keep poking fun at me like that. <sighs> this girl's no good. Maybe it's because she hit her head so hard, but everything she's saying is complete garbage. What's huh? going on? Just a minute. You're not angry, and you're not pulling my leg? I'm not angry, and I'm not joking at all. Jeez, you're a rude person. Uh, that sounded like a serious reaction. Sounds like? <laughs> it is a serious reaction, weirdo. But that's a relief. You can actually hold a normal conversation. For some reason, I don't see any injuries on you either. So, I'll be going. I'm in the middle of a job right now. Oh, I know. Since you're here, I'd like to ask you for help with my investigation. Have you seen anyone suspicious around here? A suspicious person? Yeah, like a really suspicious old lady. Nope, I haven't seen anything. Crap! Probably means it was a hoax. Something wrong with this lady? If you're after her, Iffy, then she must have done something bad. I can't give you all the details, but she's the perpetrator of several thefts. I came here after looking into a few eyewitness testimonies, but I guess they were cold leads. I better head back to the Basilicom and investigate some more before I make a move. The Basilicom? That means you're going to Planetoon, right? Yeah, but, well, it'd be a problem to leave a kid in a place like this. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, 
I'll tag along. Did I lose her memory? Or what happened? You should be fine here. By the way, there's no way you're not injured after that fall. So you need to get over to the hospital ASAP. Got it? You heading to the Basilicum, Iffy? That's what I was thinking, but there's a change of plans. I'm gonna gather some more info here before heading out. Oh, cool. So do you think I could? Nope. Don't need your help. Aww. This is my job. I can't let a kid like you just shadow me into some dangerous situations. I'm sure you'd just get in the way anyhow. <laughs> You're so stingy. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Just get yourself to the hospital, all right? Okay, fine. Now then, putting aside the fact that if he doesn't know who I am, I made it to Planetune, so I should figure out what the heck's going on around here. Shares will increase for that nation. What do they mean by this? Thank you. 
Much to do right now. Where to begin? 